Camelot 321 here, and just when you think it can't get any damn worse, just when you think life has no meaning and you would rather not be on this damn earth anymore, just when you think hot diggity damn Target deals the death blow, son, the damn uh, Vada Kedavra right on your damn face, and now you're dead as hell. You're not going back to Hogwarts, because it's over. Target just destroyed their entire, entire employee base. For what? For what? For more damn Ferraris for the executives. Ah, yes, the illustrious Ferrari. Look, I've said it before and I'll say it again. I would love one, preferably in yellow. All right, that'd be great as hell. Would I say no to one? Absolutely not. Okay, but they want Ferraris even worse, and they're willing to destroy thousands of lives to do so. But what did they do, boys? If it's not damn obvious by now what they did, they delivered a huge pay cut to their associates, because who cares about them, right? They can just go die for all they care, really. Well, what do we know about corporate companies? This is what we know. Corporate companies are totally okay with you dying as long as they make an extra five bucks. Hell, they would probably sacrifice their grandmother to the gods if they had to. That's all they're looking for, is that Ferrari money, that yacht money. Well, we're going to jump into this and change your damn life. I need you to do me a favor, though. Like this video. This is in the game for me. This is my life, all right? Subscribe to this channel because the same reasons. And follow me on Instagram, damn it. It's right there below, and we can be bros, all right? So what exactly happened? So Target deals out annual reviews to every single employee. We did it at GameStop every year. I was in charge of doing it because I was the boss guy. So I had to give all my associates reviews. And sometimes we, we wouldn't meet expectations as far as profit as a company, not a store. Didn't matter how good your store did. It was company base. But, oh my God, Target. I got to put this out there. Check this out, boys. It says, wow, a whole five cents. Drinks on me. And before some pretentious manager comes up here about the improved outcome needed, the highest one someone got on the front end was 13. 15 cents. They met standards. This doesn't even mitigate what I'll be taxed this year. Managers got more in bonuses. I'm shocked. Look at this right here. It says previous actual pay, $15 an hour, which is nothing to sneeze at. They changed their pay model a long time ago. It says their new actual base pay, $15. Oh, five. You got a nickel, son. Hot diggity damn. Wow. Improved outcome needed. Shocking. 0.3% raise. Keep in mind, this is a multi-billion dollar corporation. 0.3% raise. Interesting. That's pretty damn awful. Look, there's a, an important factor to all this. Inflation. Inflation's going ham on our asses right now, all right? Inflation is like a giant man, all right? And we are tiny babies, and he's kicking us across the damn football field. That's how it is right now. So based off inflation, three cents is actually a huge pay cut. They actually probably should be giving them a dollar or two raise, and that probably doesn't even mitigate the, the entire idea of inflation right there. Because keep in mind, this $15 an hour base model was... Put, put in place years ago before inflation. So this is indeed a pay cut. All I know is, if you give me a 0.3% raise, I'm going to give you about 0.3% improved effort on my part, which isn't a lot. Check this out. What are the uh, the people giving these annual, annual reviews actually think? Check this out. It says, I'm a TL, and I'm ashamed to work at Target. Giving out these pitiful annual reviews has been torturous. Seeing TMs who work hard and deserve recognition, seeing less than nothing is breaking my spirit. Even people giving the raises are feeling bad, which is exactly how I felt at GameStop when we had bad years. My best TM is getting a 30 cent raise. I thought it was a mistake, especially when someone else was getting 17 cents and 8 cents. With the cost of living, they're all taking a pay decrease. This is very important. Is Target even trying to retain people? No, they're not. It's a revolving door. Actually, they want more people to come in and they want m more people to leave so they can pay these new people at the lowest rate possible. I guess the answer is no. Our strongest DBOs leave jobs 
for pay only a little more and we don't even attempt to keep them. It's all so nauseating. I just need to add that we recently had a meeting about getting the desired hours metric to look better by getting people to reduce the amount of hours they want. There was no acknowledgement that we were trying to whitewash all the cut hours on people's schedule and pretend we're doing right by our team. I was all shocked. One thing you'll always hear with corporate companies. Oh, we're a family. Yeah, but you don't treat us like one at all. You treat us like a damn red redheaded stepchild that you were forced to adopt. And now you beat me every day with a belt. And the belt has freaking nails on it and shit. I'm pretty sure it's illegal. All Target cares about is profits. If they can save money in any way, they will. It sucks that none of that profit goes to where it's needed, nor where it's earned. The stores. Yeah, it goes directly to the executives' asses. All up deep in their asses, all right? Which is what I would like to happen to me. Unfortunately, that never happens to me. I just get wrecked every damn day. I'm telling you what. Check this out right here. It says, F you, Target. You give me an eight-cent raise. I give you my resignation. Up, doodle to please don't hate on me right there. We ain't gonna hate on you. Told my TL that if I got less than a 20 cent raise, I would quit because I'm, it'd be insulting. So I just put in my two weeks. Good for you. Target can get bent. Get bent, baby. Period. Oh my God, son. In, insane, dude. Insane. So if you're real lucky and you work real hard, you might make an extra $100 a year from your raise. Wow, shocking. Don't spend it all in one place, especially not at the Ferrari store, because all the CEOs done bought out the Ferraris. They're out of stock, and I guarantee you they're not going to be $100, because, yeah, you're not, a, you're not a CEO, you're not an executive, unfortunately. But the insane thing is, and I know you're asking yourself, well, this definitely can't be everybody, right? Not everybody's getting shafted right in the, the delicious, delicious poo hole. No? No? Nah, they just literally amber herded all of these bitches and shit right on their bed. Check this out. It says, just had my first yearly review. I would have literally rather not gotten a raise at all. It says, like the title says, just had my yearly review and my team lead was hyping me up saying how good of a job I did. Yay. Then they handed me a piece of paper stating that my pay was increasing from 15 to a whopping 15.44. No shade to any of the management at my store because I don't think they control how much raises are, but it's just a damn slap in the face, especially considering inflation right now. It's very important. When I told my TL how I felt, she basically said I should be grateful because some people were getting as low as eight cents. Oh my God, dude. And that made me getting a higher raise mean I was getting recognition. Like to me, it feels like I'm being told, hey, you did a good job this past year and we want to recognize that by giving you an insignificant award. Am I being an arrogant a-hole or am I right by thinking this raise is insulting? Wow. This person says, my review went great. I'm meeting and exceeding all expectations and I got 14 whole damn cents. Same here. Nine cents. Same here. Five cents. Same here. Zero cents. Are you shitting me, dude? Are you shitting me? Wow. Look, inflation's an issue. Everybody can agree. I just went, I went two states away to one of my races because I race, you know, vintage NASCAR stock cars. I got there. I spent $600 in fuel to get there. $600. Oh my God. That's like all the money. I spent all the money on that. You know what I spent two years ago going to the same race two years ago? I spent like $198. That's the difference. Okay, you can ignore it all you want, but it's coming at your face and your pocketbook ain't ignoring that shit. All right. It's like an ex-girlfriend. All right. She's calling you under restricted and you're trying to ignore it. And then she shows up at your house and stabs you right in the ass cheek. That's what's going on right now. Inflation's going to stab you in the ass cheek. What can you do to avoid it? You need to get bigger raises. What Target could have done is given everybody one dollar to two dollars to some cases, three dollars an hour raises. It wouldn't have affected them as much as you probably think it would have. Multi-billion dollar corporation. Okay. Then if inflation subsides or decreases slightly, or maybe the problem fixes itself, which I doubt, then new hires start at a lower pate. The people that already got the raises are grandfathered in. Very easy way to fix this or maybe deal out more PTO. They didn't do any of those things. They just bought Ferraris. Hot diggity damn. Now I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, well, okay, let's, let's give them the benefit of the doubt. Maybe Target, they just can't afford this. Maybe they had a bad year. Maybe it's all went to hell in a hand damn basket. Well, let's look at their full year report. Let's see. 
their full year sales increased 13.2%, 13.2% to 104 billion from 92 billion last year. 13.2 increase. The full year operating income was 8.9 billion dollars, an increase of 36%, 36% increase of profits, right? But they gave that first guy 0.3% raise. Mm. Where did all that money go? I bet I know where the hell it went. It went to this guy right here, the CEO of Target. I want you to look at something real quick, okay? I want you to look at something because 2021 was way higher. His base salary is $1.4 million. His compensation was $19.75 million. That is a 2,000% increase on his base pay. Where did the money go? Not to the associates. What do you think about this? Why are you still working at Target? Those, those dudes are a bunch of swindlers, man. They swindling the hell at you. I hate to see this sort of thing, especially during times where Target's making the most money it's ever made, ever. You know, why not give a raise or two? Nah, dude, go F yourself. Target's the new Walmart. Target can die. I used to like Target. They had those diet pizzas that were tasty. All right. I'm always on a diet because I got the fat gene in me. All right. Thank you, parents, for the fat gene. And I have to do everything I can to make sure the fat gene don't eat me alive. All right. Target, keep your diet pizzas. I will go to the gym instead. How about that? Please share this video. Please tell me your experience with Target or Walmart or any other place down below in the comments. That's very important. Engagement, boys. I'm looking for engagement. You trying to defy me? Do you love me? Do you hate me? I don't damn know. But you need to like the video, share it, follow me on the Instagram, and give me a kiss right on my forehead and tell me everything's going to be all right. Please, Jesus, everything sucks. <laughs> Get the hell on it, doggone it. Bye. Yeah. Ooh, God. During a diet, one spear a day keeps the depression away not really <laughs>